Oh my god. <laughs> I did have a word with myself before. I more or less gave up before. We've, uh, we've decided that enough's enough and we've got to get this done now. It's been sat here that long. Basically, I've cocked it up. Eighth of June. Another big gap between jobs. Between getting on here. So I'm just cutting out for the lintels now. So we need to get room for an angle iron and the concrete lintel. And then I've got to cut the cavity out, which I've already done on that side. Not sure if I've gone a bit high with that, but we'll see. Um, then with what mortar we've got left, we're going to bed the concrete lintel under and try and get the block weight round to level that front up. I'm trying to get this lintel in here and obviously the angle iron. Put the angle iron on the front, not that it's, it's desperately needed because that's where the soffit sits. a mash now because I couldn't bother getting down well I can't to physically get down there and get my gloves so there you go there's the cavity cut out there's our pocket cut out for our concrete lintel and then you pass they're inside the hole aren't they the yeah. angle lines then the angle lines are going to slot straight into there we'll truck point it and then we're going to have to put the upstand on the cavity tray here One zero four five. That is. Yeah. What? That's one zero four five to there. One zero four five. To that. Right. So. That seems small. Hmm. That seems small. That. There's only ten fifty of the window. Yeah. So that's five mil bigger than that hole. So big, bigger beds for the little. Check the face work. Right. Across that bridge when we come to it. We're running now, aren't we? So it's just bigger beds. No, it doesn't work like that. That messes up your gauge, doesn't it? You do the top pointer. Do you mean the gauge? There's no gauge anymore. There's no bricks here. And there's going to be a cut over the block anyway. Yeah. The inside's not as critical as the outside. You said there's nothing on the outside, didn't you? Mm. Just thought the wind's going to fit in. Uh, a red brick, isn't it? Oh no, yellow. It's soldiers, isn't it? I've just had one. I don't know what I've done with it. Yeah. Right, it then. It's just for measuring, that's all. Right, we're getting the 
um, concrete one on that. Sorry? We'll get the concrete one on that. and a bit of slice or Because there's no brick going on this, this could probably go to the front. Just for the old on the hang line.
There's Alex up on the scaffold, she's talking to Nia. The scaffold's coming down today. Jason's been to have a look at the roof with me, see what we need. And yeah, we've just got these soldiers to get. We're gonna have to get more bricks for the soldiers. And we've got the two pikes, gables, whatever you want to call them, to do the cut ups and the roof to do. But for now, we need the scaffold and another job, and it's just in the way at the moment. So it's gonna be a while before we get up there. So Alex's taking the profiles down and the scaffold's coming down and we're going to have a tidy up, ready to start our new job tomorrow and we've got Jason with us tomorrow for a porch demolition. So we'll just put our time lapse for now while we're doing this. Welcome back to the porch build, which still isn't built. As you can see, we left it off at lintels and that was it. Still got the pikes to do in the roof, but I thought while I'm off, it's too hot to do anything else. Get the uh, cavity closures done. And the cavity closures are 100 mil, but they can be cut down to 50 mil, which is good because you've got all this extra plastic to go on your block work. She works out nice. So this one's cut. You always cut the bottom one long and notch it into, into the cavity so your, your insulation runs through this insulation. So um, I'm going to get this trimmed, get this in position. The likes of the bottom ones I can stick. And because we're using two separate lintels at the top, I'm going to put one at the top as well and square it all up. So we've got three, three 2.4 meter ones. So I'm going to try and set you up somewhere so you can just catch this bit of time lapse just to put in the video.
tidy, need to be tidy up because I had the camera facing up. There you go. Fully lined. Sealed, stuck, nailed. Door done too. Got a bit close there, we got just managed to use the off cuts. So you got one there and one there. Didn't have that much left over. Instead of buying another full one. So yeah. And I've just got hoovered inside here. So it's not too dirty coming out of the house. So yeah, that's it. Another half day on the job. Another step closer. So see you when we're back. Morning. It is, I have no idea what it is today. It is the 21st of July on a Sunday and it is 11 o'clock. And Dad, Mum and Dad are back from their little anniversary getaway. Mum's on the way up to Scotland now to see the relatives. And me and Dad are finally gonna give this, uh, give this damn port a good go. You wanna turn your phone down? We've, uh, we've decided that enough's enough and we've got to get this done now. It's been sat here that long. Christine's currently on her way to Scotland. I just said, yeah, I have to see the uh, relatives. Oh. Someone's popular. But yeah, so that is the plan. We're going to try and get that finished off while he's taking the call. I'll just give a little explanation. So, obviously, all there is left now is the pikes. So, Dad's getting the soldier course over the air. Uh, house, over the house, over the door, can you tell it's been a while since I've done this, um, and then where we've cut the cavity, we're just going to go up to there with our actual pike, because <coughs> it doesn't need to be anything too steep, it just has to, it has to be nice, but yeah, um, I'm, uh, I'm limping around a bit today because I finally got back in the exercises, and bloody hell, I'm feeling the workout pains today all around. So I'm a little, uh, I'll be down here doing all this while dad is up there and I'll, um, I'll be on cut duty as well. So when we're ready to cut blocks, I'll be doing that. This is what happens when you have a week off, or more than a week off work and then you come back to your, do your own job and you've forgotten how to do your job. So that catastrophe complete waste of time is all coming off now because I make a big thing about always propping lintels and then I do my own job and don't prop the lintel so the whole thing sagged so basically I've cocked it up again luckily it's our own job so um, they're all coming off and they're going, going to redo them what a dickhead so annoyed completely annoyed myself so let's uh, get them all off and knock the gear up and start again. <laughs> Bloody stupid idiot.
much better. Excuse me, I'm just eating my lunch as Alex just repaired. She just ruffled up for me. Was he only rotten any of them? It just disappears, put it on the toilet. You make some bacon butties and just a couple of IKEA biscuits. Anyway, hit the rain. I'm just so mad at myself for not popping it in the first place. Because as you're working in a little, you, you, you might get the first three set nice. As soon as you set another one, it starts to sag, and as it sags, everything cracks and falls. So I'm lucky they didn't fall completely. So I'm just running this bit of a pike in now. And then we'll throw the block, block work in from here, and then we'll swap over to the other side and get that side done. Uh, yeah, do, doing alright. Just uh, hard work get back to work after me week off. So I'm going to get this uh, demolished and then get back to it. I just told you that it's Sunday the 21st of uh, July. It's been a long time since we've been here. So this is done. Soldier brick over, lintel done, blah, blah, blah. It's finished this end anyway. A lot of that end's already built. Up to there's built. The first three courses is all built. So basically we've just got from here to do today. Which is a good job because we've got much of the day left. Um, it's my first day back, I'm really struggling. I'm struggling anyway. But the, the, each day passes, the more I wish I could stop working. So, um, I'm going to drop all this, get it over there. While I'm doing that, I'll just kind of tidy up the inside. Which is a bit of a mess. So, yeah, there's a lot less to do over there. And that was our line. This is just. This is just put up, no, no particular height or reason or whatever. 
it's just what I decided on. So um, we'll make the roof fit it. Yeah, there you go, done. Didn't help react to the soldiers twice, but that's my own stupid fault. So I won't be doing that again. So we'll see you over there. As you can see, we've all swapped over. Oh, well, that's got the mix topped up. I've got the bricks loaded out all by myself. You're only there. <laughs> Been there for a long time. So, um, ready to go. As I say, these three horses are the equivalent of the soldier bricks over there. So we're already, um, we've already got that many in already. We're running out of insulation, but we should be able to top it in, put it in from the top, and then we do the roof. So yeah, there's just this little bit to run in and just the across the front ready so it's ready for the wall plate and we're going to put a nice 4 by 2 across there and so everything's up here and I'm ready to go so let's crack on That's not bad. I did have a word with myself before. I more or less gave up before. And, um, and I thought I'd finish, but I haven't. Just look at the block weight to throw on. I'm run out of insulation, but that can be put in after. So yeah, we're doing okay. Just got the tidying up to do. And then um, the short journey home through that door. Well, through the back door. So yeah, there you go. Next, next stage is the unknown. We've never done a roof before. But, uh, we've got YouTube, we've got Dan on YouTube, we've got a skill builder, we've got tall carpenter, we've got a few we can reference, and we've already got Jason, our mate round the corner, we'll give him a <laughs> ring before we get stuck. Yeah, it's not too much. You've got your, your wall plate across the back, wall plate across the front, and probably half a dozen spars. That's it, really. The, the hardest bit's going to be getting the front where the fascia board and the soffit and everything works. and heights and stuff there you go and yeah, we've got the flashing to go in as well I'm not sure that probably has to be two pieces not sure what the length is before you have to cut it because um, it splits if it's over a certain length doesn't it so yeah, I know that pick things up pick things up for other people so once Alex gets back and chucks me some water up 
he'll do the cuts for me on these last couple of blocks and we'll get it finished and covered up so we can keep touching a bit oh my god <laughs> it's done I tell you what, I, I, I just I just accepted that this was never going to get done. Hey, mum didn't. <laughs> no. But yeah, there we go. Brickwork side finished. And all it was is those two pikes holding us up. But wow, <laughs> it's surreal. So all that's left now for us with our on our part is we've got the wall plate to go on and maybe a course of brick over the lintel we'll see what our um the pike will work when we get one sorted but for now is that the end of this uh, video then yeah. you heard him that's the end of this video never thought i'd say that thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel you want to see more of our suffering <laughs> Be sure to uh, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you always know when we upload. That's always a massive help. And any additional support you ever want to give, there's the super thanks under the video or the PayPal and desk description, which by no means is is by no means necessary. There we go. It's just an extra way of supporting me and Dad, which is always helpful. But we appreciate all the support you give. This has been Brickling with Stephen Alex with this port from hell and we'll see you in the next one.